got a call. There's somebody that needs to get a bunch of carpet from a carpet store over to a industrial like facility um, near the border of Mexico and the San Diego. So and like always, I'm down to try anything. Let's do it, right? So started off, we're, we're gonna use our little pickup truck that we found out the rolls are gonna be about 15 feet long. And then he was saying that they got tons and tons of carpet that, that's gonna go on this job site. And then we found out all the padding has gotta go with it. So we started to sound like it's gonna be more and more and more and more as we were getting there. So luckily I brought the big freight liner. Um, we're gonna load up that dumpster with all that carpet. And then um, I think they're gonna load it by forklift. I told them, I said, I'm not gonna be able to lift that kind of heavy weight by myself. So they said they're gonna load it with a forklift. So we'll see how that goes. And then they said at the job site, they're gonna have a forklift there. But with these dumpsters, you can kind of guess that you could probably drop them in for the top, but then offloading is gonna be an issue with a forklift. So, but the, but the good thing is I told the guy, I said, look, I can dump it out onto a driveway or wherever it's going. So they load it up and um, I'll dump it out. So we're gonna go over there right now to the flooring store, check them out and uh, let them load this up and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. So, but hey, you know what? Like I said, I like to try new things out. Uh, if it can help a customer and we got the equipment to do it, let's do it. So hopefully just, he's not gonna be upset that they're, it's going into a dumpster, but I cleaned it out best I could and hopefully they have some uh, some cardboard or something we can put the dumpster on. I'll be the, put the carpets on. And they should be wrapped up, I'm sure. I'm, I'm just thinking. So let's go check it out and see what we get into today, guys. All right, got it all loaded up. I wasn't able to make a video on this one because they were uh, a lot of stuff going on over there. They had forklift drivers driving around and uh, trying to figure out how we're gonna load this up. But it, was, it ended up being really easy. They used a forklift with a big long pole and the pole goes in between the carpet and then they lift it up and then just loaded these up. So I got a whole load of like 14 foot carpet pieces. And it's probably about four tons. That's what the guy said he added it up. It's gonna be four tons. So I got it on the truck, running pretty good. We're gonna go to the site and then we're gonna offload this. So I guess what's going on is that the this stuff's gonna get shipped down to Mexico. It's gonna go to some cruise line, I think it is. So we're gonna take it down to a company. It's at a, it's at a facility like with a dock and everything. So they should have forklifts and all that good stuff there. And we'll watch them offload this truck where I can dump it out on the ground, but we'll videotape it and see how that goes. So, so far so good. I have to come back for a second load of all the padding. So it'll be a lighter load, but um, the place ain't that far away. It's about 30 minute drive from here. So let's go check it out. Go. All right, we're at the loading dock of this area. All right, we just stuck them right here, load up the truck, and we're headed back. Okay, bye. All right, headed back to drop off that last load that we got here. This is all the carpet padding. Got it all loaded up, but this is a crazy spot right here. It's like near the border, so you see a lot of uh, like homeless right here, but these guys are motorcycle crew or something. I saw them earlier. I seen a lot of, man, there's more trucks down here right now working on their trucks and all that. But yeah, there's some people that were living down here. Turn left onto Gateway Parkway. Drive. Turn left. Tires for this thing. It's probably the spot for my tires, guys. Let's pull up down here. Get some cheap tires put on. But Mexico is right over there, guys. Right down the hill, over, about a mile over. In a quarter it's mile, Mexico. turn left. It's all a trucking area right here for trucking outlets that need to ship stuff across the border. This is the spot right here. You got the uh, North American Moving Truck Company. 
Turn left. Then arrive at your destination. A lot of storage down here. All right. Hopefully these guys get me offloaded pretty quick. They did last time, so we got way more trucks in here now. DHL. We're going where that van just come out. All right. Let's get offloaded over here. traffic but you know how that goes when you're riding the evening time you're gonna hit that traffic going home but it's flowing I'm in the fast lane that's one thing that's nice about having a two axle truck is that you can get out here in the fast lane and cruise I think other states you can probably do this with a three axle but here in California you gotta have two axles to be in this lane over here out here if you got three axles you have to be in the right two lanes and you can't go out there in that carpool lane right there but if i had a passenger with me oh man i'd be out there in that left lane cruising by but it's not moving that fast but that's where i'd be at carpool so like this guy over here he's got a trailer you gotta be in those lanes over there but that's all right i'll probably make a lot of people mad but hey i'm keeping up with traffic over here so anyway you guys have a good one. Be safe out there. It's a wrap. God bless you. And, uh, I pray for all your businesses out there. And I pray that uh, you guys are doing well. And your families are all good. Alright guys. Have a good one. See you on the next one.